Hi, Keith here. Welcome to the Summer Art Series, and today we're going to be drawing a tree. All right, so I'm going to start with the trunk of the tree. I'm going to basically just kind of sketch it out a little bit. Now you'll notice that I put the tree a little off to one side, trying to make it a little more dramatic. If you just have a tree sitting in the middle of your picture, it gets a little uh, boring. So um, what you can do, I've kind of lightly sketched in a trunk just to make it easier on myself as we get started here. But what you can do is you can kind of come in and just make some lines and decide, oh, this is where... I want my branches to come up. So from here then I can just start maybe adding the other side. Now the rule to this is very, very simple. Trees get skinnier as they go up, okay? So we don't want giant fat chunks above uh, skinny chunks, okay? So we really do want to maintain that our branches are getting smaller as they go up. And this ain't rocket science, just V's are very effective. You can see them here, here, here. All right, so over here, I'm gonna drag me down a little chunk. So this is a lot more dramatic than the usual uh, stump with a big green ball on top makes it a little more interesting okay so the next step for me is to start putting leaves on a tree now the idea is it isn't just a big ball of green what we need to do is kind of give it little chunks so what i'm going to do is very gently Notice how I kind of wiggle my hands so that later on I have like leaf-like material. So I'm going to make these little areas where the leaves are going to be. So as you can see, the branches are going up into the leaves. Okay. I'll do another one right here. But the idea is that you're going to leave some air here and there. Okay. And then in the meantime, we're just going to fill in a few of these areas. Again, if you look, most of these, even though they're all jiggly, they're just like little circles, little shapes. These are the branches coming up and the ball hits. You know, the leaf, leaf ball hits. <laughs> on top of the branch. Okay. I got a little one down here. So, at this point, I got my tree in. I got my leaves kind of drawn up, not too seriously yet. I'm going to I'm going to create a little bit of a horizon line here. I'm going to be on a hill, and oh, we got a rock, a couple rocks coming down, and then I got a kind of a softer background hill in the back there. So foreground, a little bit of background. At this point, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to clean up my lines that I did for the, for the tree. Clean this up here a little bit, make it clearer. All right. So at this point, you might want to... Now, if you're going to stick with a pencil, um, let's just assume that the light is coming kind of in this direction, okay? Kind of down and over a little bit. So I'm going to shadow using the side of my pencil, okay, okay, um, the bottoms of the branches, the sides a little bit, and 
and you want a nice soft pencil when you're doing this kind of stuff. See how you can just kind of fill it right in. Some of these branches that are pretty close to where the uh, where the leaves are, we want the shadow there too, because the tr the leaves are kind of shadowing shadow shadowing the branches. So I'm going to clean this up over here a little bit. So you see how I run that tree right off the page? It just makes a little more drama um, instead of just having one simple thing in the middle. Um, at this point, let's talk about these little circles now. These little chunks of leaves. So the same thing. What you want to do is kind of shadow the underside. And maybe break it up a little bit so that it looks like little chunks of uh, different branches, different leaves. We're not going to try to sit and do every little leaf. That would be insane. So, again, we're just going to keep filling in. Shadow. I try to keep the the leaves like short little bursts of shadow, but I think you get the idea. Okay. So at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you a little different tree. Right, a, I'm going to do a little background tree here. Just going to do a couple little straight lines. And what I'm going to do, do me a couple little pine trees. And the idea is that you don't, we're not going to do, uh, we're not going to do uh, the Christmas tree. But you'll notice as I come down, the branches start hanging lower and lower and lower. So when, at the top, they seem very, uh, like they stand up straight out. But as they come down, what you're gonna do, is have them come down and your line gets a little bit darker, a little bit heavier. So there's a couple little pine trees. We got a happy rock right here. Um, at this point, what I like to do now is switch over. I just want to show you something I did earlier, okay? And that is, I did a pen and ink drawing of this image. Now, it might not be exactly the same, but you kind of get the idea. All right, so I'm going to set this aside and my partially off the page there I'm assuming great what did I do with the other one <laughs> there it is yay so as you can see in this one what I did do is use uh, a fine line marker you can uh, pick these up. Oh, this is the brush. Um, this is the brush. It, it can give you a little heavier line. I like using the brush for the heavier line and then using the fine line to actually do the, uh, to do the, um, the bark. But this is... And then you would use line to create your shadow. So, all right. So these are the uh, pigmographic. Uh, what are these called? There's a name for them. But also I use the uh, uh, Artiza. And these work very well, too, for doing the little bit of shadowing here and there. 
Okay. So, anyway. And you can fill it all in. Get some nice texture on there. I love working in ink. But it's almost the same thing. You're just you're just creating shadow at a certain point. So hopefully that will give you something to do for a little bit. Uh, hey, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and check out rkmcguire.com.